Jason, G to C is doing my nutting. I I feel you, buddy. I've seen this so often with private students. And there's one trick. There's one thing that you need to be practicing more than anything. If you're really struggling with this, it will require patience. And I'm gonna make it a lot easier for you if you keep watching till the end of this short video, okay? So what you need to do to really change well between G and C is to make sure that you can make the shape of the chord with your fingers around five millimeter above the chord. So this is me making a G major chord and I can lift my fingers by five millimeter, but it's still in that same position, which means I won't keep my fingers in that position too long. I'll change to the C actually. But if I lift from the C by just five millimeter, I mean, if I, ex if, if I create a C chord off the guitar, that's what it looks like. And my fingers have memorized that and I have it. And if you can't change between the G chord and the C chord, in this fashion, to that kind of speed, it's likely you haven't acquired that motor skill. It's likely you haven't acquired the skill of being able to make chord shapes in the air above your guitar. So that is the exercise that you need to work on. You need to work on, make the rather than going straight from the G to the C, you need to raise your fingers very slightly and then change to the G chord without putting your fingers down. These are still hovering like this and then place them down afterwards. And especially when you go for the C chord, I guarantee what's happening is you're putting your fingers down. One, two, three. Guarantee. If you go from G to C, you're changing from G to C. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's just, it's, it's, it's the way the fingers would change between those two chords when you haven't yet learned that skill. I've seen it too often with beginners. Now, there is a way that we can make this so much easier on you, buddy. And um, this is basically, this is half of the point of what I call the finger style C, uh, uh, finger style G chord, my apologies. So the C chord, we're not gonna play that any different, but we are going to play occasionally, especially at a, an improver level and for finger style and things, uh, we're going to play the G like this, which is all the same note locations, same, same here, but with the fingers two, three, and four. And the reason is, uh, it's, it's the same notes we're pressing down, so it's still a G chord, but fingers two and three are in the same position as they would be with a, uh, with a C chord. So when we go from G to C, it's, a, it's not as big a hand shape change and can really help many people. And the reason I call this a finger style G is we can actually still play um, melodic notes or notes from uh, different scales, but in this case, the uh, C major scale. We can do that with the C and the G. So that's why I sort of nicknamed this the, the finger style G. Um, and that's it, really. other than that, obviously between G and C, if we're in the key of G, so if the song starts on a G, we have the sort of Oasis chords method of, of the all fingers G and then the C add nine. But if your song's in the key of C and it starts on a C chord, we can't use that C add nine. It's no longer sort of a valid um, chord option to, to swap it for, or a chord substitution is the proper name for that. So um, yeah, this finger style G is super handy, but that chord changes exercise is absolutely the best thing for you. And we'll get on to the next question now.